Hello there. The brethren have spoken. Last night, after the largest ever participation in a vote of Freemasons, Victoria members in living memory, the independent Vero voting organisation confirmed that the yes vote was carried for the interim governor's motion for the coming 12 months. 991 votes were cast for the detailed proposals put up by Vero Worshipful Brother Robert Brunand and his Change Management Steering Committee. 627 votes against and 47 abstentions. This was by far the biggest ever engagement of members in a vote that anyone can recall. It is a convincing and specific mandate for the interim arrangements for the next 12 months, commencing January 1st. I was reminded just this morning that far fewer voted and by a narrower margin to establish the Freemasons Foundation. I wish to thank the committee for all its hard work to date. It required much listening and patient and polite discussion and an ethic of real independence and balance. We also want to thank every one of the 1,665 members who took the time to cast their vote and to have their say. The size of the vote reaffirms that together we are bringing a reignited passion and involvement to Freemasons Victoria. Our fraternity is vibrant and it's alive. This agreed upon proposal is about looking forward. Some wanted to run a campaign about looking back, about what had happened in the past. I congratulate the committee on keeping a disciplined focus, a real eyes on the prize approach. So, where to from here? Freemasons Victoria will soon move from the caretaker governance to the approved interim model. The membership have voted to give a clear mandate for the next 12 months. In the coming 106 days before the 1st of January, we're all going to be very busy. Every Freemason in Victoria will have the opportunity to cast their vote for members to fill roles on the Masonic Council and the Commercial Council. Those votes will include ballots held in our lodge rooms to maximise members having their say, right across the state. We will swiftly engage expert personnel selection experts to identify possible citizen candidates for the three non-Masonic positions on the Commercial Council and those who will join Masonic members on the board of the trustee company Freemasons Victoria Holdings. Now that the days of the scare and negative personal campaigns have run their course, and knowing that the members have had their say after months of vigorous debate, Freemasons Victoria can again be united in the way that it approaches its Masonic and commercial management. The leadership team and the council members will be working for all Freemasons, no matter how you cast your vote yesterday. Everyone will have the opportunity to be seen and to be heard. Over the coming weeks, everyone will be kept up to date with every stage of our progress. You will see advertisements for members of the councils. You can nominate and you can vote. There will be much hard and diligent work in putting the interim proposals into reality. Please remember this is step two, which is for the year 2022. During 2022, we will then have many detailed discussions of more permanent changes to our constitution to make it more relevant for the years ahead. We will want to ensure that every viewpoint, every idea, gets its due consideration. By late next year, we should be having our vote on constitutional change. That's step three, that any constitutional change decisions will be made on the floor of Grand Lodge, following our established rules. Brethren, summing up, last night's vote was open to every Freemason in Victoria. A record turnout participated. A clear majority voted on the preferred option. We move on from arguing the toss to putting these important improvements into action. And we move on to the next important stages of our discussion about our constitution. These are great, 
positive times for Freemasons Victoria. I'm looking forward to being alongside you for the next part of our shared journey. I'm Richard Elkington and I'm honoured to be your Grandmaster. Bye-bye for now.